Here's my Baylor versus Villanova men's basketball preview. Villanova as best players have for sure Colin Gillespie, Justin Moore, Brandon Slater, Jermaine Samuels, Caleb Daniels, who just decided and has came, who came back due to illness. That's the top five players for sure. Eric Dixon is another one, but they don't really have a lot. And Demir, Demir Cosby Roundtree. He's a Ford, but he's been banged up some. So, but Colin Gillespie is their leading scorer by far. 17.3 points per game. Justin Moore, 15.7 points per game. Rand Slater, 12.9 points per game. Jermaine Sanders, 12 points per game. Colin Gillespie is for sure one of the better three point shooters with 34 for 76 on three pointers which is 44.7%. Of course, Brandon Slayer could shoot the ball off from 3-2, even though he's a 4, 15 for 41. On three-pointers, Justin Moore is 22 for 57 on three-pointers. So, Jermaine Samuels, you know, he's 33.3333, repeating decimal percent, 12 for 36, basically. And Caleb Daniels is 13 for 33 on three-pointers. They did attempt a bunch of three-pointers against Syracuse, by the way, but they didn't make a ton. I don't recall the amount, but i tell you something right now. Villanova does not have a lot of depth, quality depth, to match with Baylor. So foul trouble could be an issue, and they don't have a lot of size either. Either, I mean, Brandon Slater, 6'7", Jermaine Angel, 6'7". Kayla, uh, those are their forwards, by the way. Eric Dixon is six foot eight, but he's seven point four points per game. But six foot eight is not tremendous. Demir Cosby Roundtree is six foot nine, though. But you know, he doesn't hardly play. So really, they don't have a lot of size intimidation. I will post. A link, I'll put a link in the description on the outlook on them so you could look at it individually, by the way. Because I'm sure y'all are curious on on that, on those stats. I'm uh, like looking at how many three-pointers did Villanova take last game. They took 50 of them. They only made 13. So, and the, major, and the majority came from Justin Moore for 4-for-12, for, for Cos Gillespie 4-for-12, for Caleb Daniels 3-for-6. That's the top three. That's the 11 out of those 13, I mean. Or even Justin Moore and Colin Gillespie out of 8 out of 13. So, you know, just shut down the three-point line, cause turnovers, get them in foul trouble. And execute your plays on offense. Don't commit silly fouls in this game because it's a top five, 10 showdown here or near top five, I mean. So, and take good shots. And limit the transition points. And try to get in transition against them. Because they might not match up with the speed. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later.